Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right, so I know I listen to the music because you, you guys sent it to me, so I've been listening to it. Walter, I listened to the whole thing when I got home. Okay, awesome. Again. Oh, nice. You listen to it. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, we want to get we want to get some conversation going here. And Brickell, just tell the folks out there because that this is out. People could buy it right now, right? Or is it coming out? What, what, yeah. What's so it's on pre-order right now. Okay. Um, so you can go to americangunchick.com and pre-order it, and then the release will be April thirtieth. So and if you order it right now, it's actually cheaper to pre-order it than to buy it when it comes out. Okay. Okay. So it's cheaper to pre-order it. Okay. And then it's coming out. Um, April 30th. All right, cool. So, um, and all they have to do to, in order to get that is go to AmericanGunCheck.com? Yeah, and then click AGC Store, and then just go to the CDs that are all listed right, right there. And Let then... me see. Yeah, I think I could throw that up here on the screen. Hold on a second. So if you go to AmericanGunCheck.com, there should be like a, a, a page or something like that. It opens. You can go to this or you can go to the store. And then there's uh, Everyone Hates Me. That's the title. That's the title of this album, right? Yeah. Okay. With me on the little flamingo with the bunny ears and the guns. <laughs> right, right. That's the cover. <laughs> there you go. Which, when did you release that song? That song's been out for a little while. Yeah, that was probably like over a year ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Like okay. probably a year, a little bit more than a year. Okay, and Aries produced this one too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, what? he did. He did all the songs. Okay. We, he yeah, did we, we recorded it between here in Florida and the last song we actually recorded in Austin, Texas, because we just happened to be in that state when we finished up the the remainder of this project. Oh, okay. So let's uh, start off with that. That's been out for a little while, but let's start with that since there's a video for that. I think you put out. Another video that I was looking at today um, on another one of these songs. Let me see which one is it. It's uh, the quarantine. It's, yeah, the cor Yeah, the quarantine. <laughs> My quarantine. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> but let's let's go with the everyone hates me thing because I think we've talked about it before. But let's just cover it, and if people have questions, we can get into that real quick. What was the con so all of this? The whole album's parodies, right? Yeah, they're all parodies. Okay, and so Everyone Hates Me, that's a parody. Yeah, from Tom McDonald, he did an Everybody Hates Me. But this one is an Everybody Hates Me Gun Bunny edition. Okay. And calling out, like, all the hypocrites in the gun world and people mm -hmm. that hate on girls for liking guns and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So how did you guys, uh, what was, like, the concept behind this? How did you come up with that? Did you like hear the song and go, hey, I think I could rewrite this? Who wrote it? All of that stuff. Um, yeah, actually, it was during the time when I was kind of beefing with two other YouTubers. Okay. Um, the Gun Collective and John Korea. Mm -hmm. They both of them were like kind of coming at me. The Gun Collective kind of said something rude, uh, like probably a couple months before I even had the idea of the music video. He pretty mm -hmm. much called my channel trash, and then the. John Korea was just talking crap because I developed like a dust cover for women and he was being really condescending and saying mm -hmm. that I was a gun bunny and saying that I was a moron for developing that because girls should know better. And I'm like, well, if you're a new shooter, you're not going to know that brass goes down your shirt because you're not going to know anything mm -hmm. about guns. Okay. And then so they were just talking crap and then a bunch of trolls were talking crap. I had like like thousands and thousands of comments of people hating on me for the dust cover mostly. Mm -hmm. And then... So Joe came across this video um, from Tom McDonald that says everybody hates me. And Joe was the one. He was like, dude, this is a good video. We should do a parody of, like, the gun community and call the people out that are talking crap and just shut them up. And then so Joe was like, I'm going to write this song. So he wrote the whole song. We contacted Aries. We went down there, recorded it. And then Joe, like, directed the whole music video and everything. And when it came out... It was so much, first it, First of all, it was so much fun recording it. I knew, I was like, yeah, music videos are so much fun to do. Mm -hmm. And just recording yourself singing, that's a lot of fun to do too. So after we released it, all the haters were silent. It shut all of them up pretty much. Okay, all right. So that it, yeah. I guess it had a good effect. Um, 
Are you are you still fighting with those people? I don't know who the John what is his name? John Curry? Curry? John Korea. He Korea. Who he has that? a YouTube channel, Protect Your Asp. He does the okay. self protection okay. videos. I don't I don't He's really know big, who that I mean, is. Okay. He has like a million subscribers. Okay. And you know, I thought his video his videos are good, you know. I like his videos, they're educational. But him as a person, I think is just not a very nice person. <laughs> and I mean the gun collective, he pretty much he was like, Hey, thanks for the shout out. So he pretty mm. much knew we got him. <laughs> and mm. then uh John Korea, he he still is rude here and there. Like he'll say a little snard stuff sometimes, but Okay. You know, I just kind of I'm kind of like whatever. Yeah. For so, the most part, I found we'll probably... like I don't I don't know the other guy. I know that for the gun collective, for most part, like even we've had our little run-ins, but he's really been cool with me. I know like when we had some things going on at Shot Show, I think it was he he saw me and he talked to me and all that kind of stuff, and we kind of just like you know yeah. let it go. He doesn't he doesn't really seem you know that bad or like he's really trying to go after anyone. I know there are some people who do that. You know, um, there yeah. are some people who feel like for whatever reason you can't you can't do this thing and do it however you want to and you can't be cute, <laughs> or whatever it is while you're doing yeah. it. Yeah, and yeah. Honestly, when he called my channel trash, that was I don't know probably like six months or maybe even a year before I even made the music video. So mm -hmm. it could have just been him because I was a lot smaller. My channel was you know a lot smaller, so he could have just saw my channel and just been like, oh, this is whatever, and just called it trash, just kind of being rude, mm -hmm. and then didn't realize that I was going to stay in the gun community, because he thought maybe I was just going to be a flash in the pan, where mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, look at me, you know, like, look at my boobs, give me attention, so the, the fact that I stuck around and actually took a bunch of training, and I train girls now, and I'm serious about it, I'm not, mm -hmm. you know, a gun bunny, then maybe that's, maybe he didn't think that that was going to happen, and he was just hating at first, and then maybe, because he doesn't, he doesn't speak to me. I don't speak to him. You know, mm. there's nothing going on there. So maybe he just didn't expect anything to come from me or anything. I don't know. Yeah. R Walter, did you want to say something? Did you want to? You know, I, you know, I, I just, I just hearing it and I go, why can't people just take care of their own business and stay out of other people's business? <laughs> you know, everybody's got to. Yeah. I see, when I see stuff that's, that I don't particularly care for, I just don't watch it. Yeah. That's I mean, it. That's, I don't, I don't, that's the place yeah, where you get to choose, like he was talking about. Just uh, yeah, now. I don't get on there and start throwing the hate because it's mm -hmm. just like it, it, it's not productive, you know. So. It's the insecurities. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, the, the, so. it's weird when people feel like, uh, okay, this person can't do this, or this person can't do it, or if you do this, you have to do it this way, you have to dress this way, you gotta talk like this. What are we talking you gotta about have here? Beard. Like, yeah, yeah. You can do this however the yeah. hell you want to, man. You can do whatever you want to. I mean, just exactly. like, so there's three dudes here and you, obviously, right? You know, um, imagine if we lived in, in a world where dudes could, like, show off their schlong or something like that, you know, yeah. and you had one to show off. Wouldn't you do it? If you had one that you were like, hey, you know, I think I think we probably would. I think we would. I would do it. I don't know. I think I, I, I know I would do it. You guys might not want to say anything, huh? I don't know. If I was a dude, I'd probably get a sex change because I don't want to be a dude. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I'd be a transgender, probably. No, but, what okay. I'm trying to say is like we all like okay in the world we all try to show off whatever we think is our assets, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah. whether it's your brain, your if you. Whatever you have to show the world. Your money. Yeah. You know? What, like, what's wrong with that? I mean, look at, look where, at rap, rappers stole, you know, fancy cars and they get a bunch of women, you know, stripping, dancing in the background of the videos because that's how they bring people in. It's no yeah. different. Yeah, but well, and, there's, there's, go, there's go gun people. That have, there's, I, I'm not going to give any names because I don't want to start to hate, <laughs> but there's gun guys that have wives and, and, and the only people I think, the reason people watch their channels are buy their stuff so they can see their wife prancing around. Well, and the, the, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'll and I'll just leave it at that. Okay. But but is there is there something like okay whose fault is that? First of all, let's ask this question: whose fault is that? You know whose fault it is, dudes. Well, I don't. You know, once again, here we go. You know, I mean, uh, oh, I, well, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. It's no. Well, here's so. what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah. I'll just give you guys an example on Instagram, right? Unless you are a famous wealthy dude. It's very tough to get like big numbers on Instagram. 
But what I've noticed is like if you're if you're a woman, oh yeah, whether you're skinny, whether you're short or tall, whether you got big boobs or little uh, boobs or whatever it is you got, you get you naturally you get more followers, right? You know whose fault that is? Yeah. You know whose fault Men. that is? Dudes. Yeah. Men. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's no fault. I mean, no, it's not. It's not bad. That's nature. That's the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I, I I think that every man. I I mean, not just men. I think women. Whatever. You could be like a straight woman, and you still see other women, and you think that their bodies are beautiful, and it, it's like artistic. There's a reason. You know, like on the Titanic when he he drew Rose and she was naked and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't think that was like so sexual. I think it's just because women's bodies are artistic a lot more than men's bodies. Um, you know? uh, okay, I will definitely go for the artistic thing, but also at the same time, I think every woman is like a little bit lesbo, but not every dude, is, <laughs> not every dude is, is a little gay. I'm saying that. Well, you've, you've never seen, like, you think you've never seen another guy and you thought like, wow, he has really nice abs. I'm not gay, but he looks really good. Oh well, yeah, there's, guys, uh, there's, there's people, that, there's people that are yeah. fit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. For sure, yeah, for I mean, sure, yeah. But there's a difference between acknowledging that yeah. you know that someone yeah. has good looks and being attracted to them you know what yeah, i'm saying like yeah but also dudes don't go up to other some guys do some guys <laughs> do i'm not judging but dudes don't go up to other dudes like oh my god look at your abs oh man those are nice abs dudes guys don't yeah. yeah guys don't do that you might see that guy go what, All right, what about behind closed doors do they no do no, 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 no 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 if no, they no. do that behind closed doors that's not even like a thought no it doesn't no. even like crash your mind at all no, no but but women women will go oh my god you're you're you look so good that's a nice ass you got whatever right <laughs> women do that dudes are, and we're not the same ultimately we're not the uh -huh. same not supposed to be right but the and the world is interesting because we're all in it However, I think there's some people that get mad. Like the thing that I'm saying, like I don't get mad that that women have bigger, on average, IG numbers. I don't want to. I don't want IG to be all dudes, please. I don't want the world to be all dudes. Oh no, man! Best part about Instagram is the chicks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the only reason I bring my phone with me to the bathroom. <laughs> I can brighten my day so fast and make your head spin. Yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble, but uh... yeah, Lola's giving me the death stare across the room. Yeah, at some point you can't take your phone to the bathroom now. <laughs> yeah, so but the thing is, okay, so that's why you did this. Obviously, this has always been a thing. I think in all kinds of different worlds, um, I can't think of an example where I haven't seen it. Right, it's always been a thing. But as a gun person, you're you're not, uh, which I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like if you were just into guns and you just use whatever it is you have and you're into guns, I would actually be fine with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with gun bunnies, which I've said before. There's actually dudes in the gun world that are gun bunnies to me, right? There's guys yeah. who are just about like they're good that's looking. A song. Yeah. <laughs> just, that's, a, that's, a, that's an idea for a song. Bro. What? <laughs> dudes are the gun yeah. bunnies? <laughs> Oh, He's just Lord. a gun bunny who, who to me. Who are we going to use for the gun bunny? <laughs> He's just a gun uh, bunny. Yeah, there's, there's guys that are gun hey, bunnies. Instead of gun bunnies, we'll call them gun bucks. Nah. What about that? No, I like gun bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> I like the gun, bu gun but there, bunnies. There are guys like that. Let's be honest. There's guys like that. There's guys in the gun world that are good looking. They're all, that's what they use or whatever. You know, um, or they have muscles, and for whatever reason, they gotta shoot their they gotta shoot their guns with no shirt on. All of that exists. All of that exists. Who exactly so. are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't spend a lot of time oh, looking, okay. but I know it exists. I know it exists. Or I know there's guys that just do stuff in the gun world just for the like. There's, for example, there's guys that. Um, the way that they shoot their videos and things like that, whatever, however they do it, right? It's not, there's not really like a deeper content there. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. You know, they're just trying to get the views or whatever it is. And that's fine. Everyone has to function on their own level and do their thing, you know, and you just yeah. have to choose like what that is. So like, I don't choose, I deliberately suffer for the people. And that's why I don't have muscles and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Because I'm suffering for the people. You suffer. <laughs> that's uh, my... Yeah, my favorite line mm -hmm. for my song is, 
claims they are all inclusive. Outsiders hear nothing but noise. That's saying that, and, and it's bringing a message. And in, in that music video, there's a bunch of dudes standing in a circle, and I'm trying to get in there, and they're like mm -hmm. pushing me away. It's pretty much saying that the gun community is claiming that we're all inclusive, and hey, we're you know bringing everybody in, and mm -hmm. you know we want everybody to be pro 2A. But mm -hmm. but some of them, I'm not saying this about everybody in the gun industry, but there's some people that are totally showing the opposite of that, and they're calling girls gun bunnies, or they're making fun of girls for becoming instructors, and why do they do it this way, or they're saying this guy's too fat to do this, or this and that, like making fun of certain people because they don't fit their mold, mm -hmm. and that's not right because nobody owns the Second Amendment. You, It's not yours to say who can have it and who can't have it, you know? Yeah. I You're always, an American. It, yeah, I always worry about yeah. that, by the way. So when those guys are... So if someone's talking to me about that, I always think like, okay, they're telling they're telling me that they think this person or this woman is a gun bunny and and you know, so they somehow they don't feel she should get the pass or whatever to be in the gun world and I think, okay, then you would probably tell someone else that because I'm black I don't get the pass or because this guy is too yeah. hip hop for you. You know, or this thing or that <laughs> thing, they don't get the pass. Or it, because they, this person exactly. might be gay, you know what? They don't get a pass to be in the gun world, and that's exactly. not really how it is. Yeah. Well, and the truth exactly. is, we I know. need it the most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's what, if you really, if you really, really, truly want, if you're saying that, hey, the Second Amendment, for example, is for everyone, then you have to you have to allow everyone to be in there and then allow the audience to choose who they like and just don't get mad about it just do if yeah, you have I mean, your corner do your work and people will find you mind your own business yeah, yeah <laughs> well yeah. you know what yeah. i'm saying there's there's plenty of choices out there you can if you want to watch all chicks on on inner tube handle guns then i mean on 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 youtube the inner tube i called it yeah. uh, i think if, if yeah. all chicks were on inner tubes in the pool that wouldn't bother mm -hmm. me i don't care yeah <laughs> I don't bother me. whatever floats your boat you know there's plenty of there's plenty of choices out there so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know if it's not if, if one's not your cup of tea then go the next yeah you know? absolutely make sure to check out hankstrange.com you can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts